Now, four of the massive cooling towers at the Fiddler's Ferry Power Station in Warrington have been demolished. 30 properties were evacuated as the chimneys came down shortly after half past nine this morning. A large crowd gathered to watch the historic moment, but the weather almost spoiled the view, as Phil Cunliffe reports. Two, one. Icons Fire of the now. coal age. Fire now. They've been part of the landscape since 1971. Each weighing 100,000 tonnes, it took just seconds to bring them crashing down. Six months of planning complete, 12,000 holes drilled and filled with high explosives. Hundreds have braced the cold to watch on from behind the cordon. The forecast had been promising, but come the day, this was the view for many. At least we got to hear the explosions through the freezing fog. We heard the rumbling, so we know we know it definitely happened, but couldn't see anything. <laughs> it was nice to be part of it and to hear the big, big bang. So the last uh, formal demolition I saw was 1973, Fred Dibner and a chimney somewhere in Bolton. So uh, that was more impressive than this. It lasted longer. The four remaining cooling towers will be blown down at a later date, but who'll get to push the button? People have got, had a bit of a, an affinity with Fiddler's Ferry, you know, so it'd be good to have perhaps a resident uh, or someone local to do that for the next project. The day was a triumph for the O'Connor family. Dad Peter oversaw the demolition, his sons grateful that things went well after an intense week. How will he feel now, do you think, that it's all Happy. over? Um, oh. um, Proud, um, flabbergasted. Phil Cunliffe, BBC North West Tonight.